Yeah, it was pretty much it was nowhere we really could go. <laughs> I, didn't get, I got talking points, and I always get talking points, and I usually take them and I look at them and I go, whoosh, yeah. because I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty aware of what could possibly give away plots and storylines and stuff, and you don't want to give away spoilers. Uh, and I'm very familiar with that from working with Marvel. <laughs> but I also wanted to talk about the film as a fan, what I really loved about it. And uh, so I, I usually take the talking points, just throw them and talk as a fan. Where were you as a fan on the original Blade Runner? Because that's, that, some people have that yeah. top their list. Yeah, um, it's definitely very high on my list, which is a long list. But it, it's weird because it, I, it's gotten higher on my list throughout the years. Because when I saw it in the theaters when I was young, uh, it wasn't super high on my list because it wasn't, it was just, it was too smart for me at that time. I was a young, you know, a young moviegoer and it was just too much to think about for me. I didn't, you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to watch, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger in, in action films at that point. You know, it wasn't a film that it was, you know, it's a, a bit of a melancholy feel to that film. It's a lot to think about, a lot to process. Mm -hmm. And as a, a very young man, I was more concerned about the other girls that were in the theaters and, you know, so, as I got older and, and started watching it and uh, appreciating it more and more and seeing how ahead of it, its time that it was, is when I really fell in love with it. Even more so, I think, with the scene after seeing the director's cut, which was even more so uh, thought-provoking, I think, is when I really started to appreciate why people love this film so much. This one's thought-provoking as well, and there's time in Very. this. I, I, I don't know if you're giving it away, but I'm not going to give it away. Yeah. But there, when you're watching it, you, you do have time to breathe while you're watching it and to think yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, kind of process it and digest it, yeah, everything. Which I think is really cool because it, it really is a smart film. And it's I think it's much deeper and much more emotional than the first film, but only because it's really picking up from where the first film left off. And I think where it left off was getting a real feel for who the replicants were and what they were fighting for, and then carrying on that. and then you you really see what a struggle it is and what that, that fight uh, for survival really is. It's not what you know you tend to believe in the first film where it's just a violent rampage, but it's not. At the end, you really realize that it's a passion for life and it's, a, it's a, an appreciation for life. When you look back at Harrison Ford when he played, you know, starred in the mm -hmm. original Blade Runner, mm -hmm. a lot of fans could argue this was the film that made him a star, but there's so many that he has done right. that has, has made him a star. But what did it mean to have him back in this film for all of you? To me, it, it, does, it doesn't work without him. It's not the same. It's, it's, it's uh, to me, without his character, it, it might as well have been a reboot. And I don't think that would have been, uh, it wouldn't have done justice. It wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't, you know, wouldn't carry the, the type of same sentiment, you know, as the first film. It's people, I think that people need to make that connection. And it was a huge task to take, <laughs> to be able to, you know, to make a film that would make that connection. Uh, but to me, just speaking as a fan, if it doesn't have Harrison, uh, it it's just, somehow just is, doesn't work as well. And him working off of Ryan, what do you, how did you, when you saw the film, yeah. what did you think of that, that kind yeah, of dance yeah. they do? And I'm not giving it away, but you working with him too. Yeah. Is that too much? No, no, uh, you know, it's, you see us together in the trailer, you see Ryan and I in the trailer, but I think uh, uh, even more so, obviously, because they are the two leads and they needed to have that bond, they needed to have that chemistry, and, and obviously they do. <laughs> and I hear, I've never, I haven't seen them interact with one another too much in interviews, but I heard that you can really see and pick up that they have a certain bond. Why would they not? They're both, you know, they're brilliant actors, and I, I'm sure they have a lot to discuss and talk about. But, uh, you know, on film, uh, their chemistry is, is magical. You know, it's, uh, and it was very important. I think it's just another huge factor that makes this film really, really work. Yeah.